Hello, I'm portraying a leech, which is a male doctor, a physician. A leech is a Saxon word for physician. My name is Hugh de Vere and I'm from the 9th, 10th and 11th century. Now, I'm showing today what a doctor might have. I'm a man of formal training. I have been taught cures, I've been taught surgery and I've been taught how to look after people. So I'm a man of learning, I can read, I can write and I have a book. This is very special, not many people have books and not many people can read and write, but I can. I can also add up because people pay me to cure them. I can do some forms of surgery, I can do small operations, um, I will bleed people if they're unwell to make them well. I know a whole variety of herbal cures which I will give people for of course a small fee and they have a year to pay up. I, I, I'm an honest man, I won't overcharge them but I will make sure they pay me for my time and effort because I use a lot of exotic spices and things that have travelled for a very, very long time to reach Britain. In fact, I can show you a very, very expensive spice. This is something very, very few people will have seen or even tasted. This is pepper. This will have taken a year to travel right across Europe and it will have taken a long time to get here. Very expensive, worth its weight in gold. I use this in some of my cures. If you have an eye infection or an illness of the eye, I will take pepper, crush it up with white wine, add a bit of honey to it and then flush your eye out with it. At this point you're probably going, ow, that hurts a lot, but it's actually very logical. In the day and age of not having very much sources of clean water, then wine is clean and is sterile and if you put it in your eye it will help flush out any infection. Honey is an antibiotic, it's a disinfectant, it will help kill any bacteria in your eye. And pepper, well that will make your eyes sting and water a lot, which will make you flush any foreign objects outside um, of your eye. So very, very logical when you think about it. Every form of Saxon cure or Norman herbal cure, when you first look at it, you think, oh, that's nasty. But they really understood their diseases and they understood their plant medicine and they knew what they were talking about. It wasn't a barbaric age, they were people of learning and within the context of their society, they knew how to cure things. This implement here is a cautery iron. It's used to cauterise wounds, you heat it up in the fire and then if you have nosebleeds or pull-ups of the nose you can stick it up your nose. Very hot, it will go tss, produce lots of smoke, a little bit of pain but will stop your bleeding. Now over here I have a chart. This chart shows you with the red blobs where you would touch somebody with your cautery iron for various diseases. Should you have toothache, then you touch a person with the hot end of your cautery iron where the red blobs are. One on each of those red blobs and that will help cure your toothache. A little bit like a very painful version of acupuncture. Here we have some other cures. The top two men here, they are for liver and gut disease. The bottom man has got disease of the spleen.